Hi, good evening. Welcome to AP Studio Art. I uh, just wanted to introduce myself as Mr. Uttendorfer. I'll be the AP Studio Art teacher this year. So AP Studio Art, what we do is a portfolio of 15 um, sustained investigation slides, which um, doesn't always equal 15 pieces, but we'll be submitting 15 images to the uh, college board uh, around May 7th um, with an artist statement. And in addition to that uh, portion of the portfolio, we'll also be submitting five quality pieces, which are selected works out of the sustained investigation that will um, be the best pieces out of the 15. Now, that also has to be done in 34 weeks, which doesn't give us a huge amount of time, but um, there are uh, a lot of different ways that we go about doing this. So I come up with an individual plan with each student um, playing to their strengths and really thinking about, you know, what they want to do and their voice and um, what they're really strong at. Uh, and then we build an entire portfolio around um, their interests. We also do weekly assessments every Wednesday um, and artwork is due. Uh, sometimes that winds up changing, goes to every two weeks, but usually there is a check-in at least once a week um, to see progress and see where everyone's at. Um, if a deadline is missed, there are no excuses, uh, especially given Google Classroom um, and the connectivity, everyone should be able to submit something um, whether it's an in-progress piece with an explanation why it's still in progress or, uh, or um, a finished piece, um, there really is no excuse for not being able to submit something. So there's two different portfolios that the school district offers and what I also teach in the class. So there's a drawing or a 2D design portfolio, and it really depends on whichever the portfolio winds up um, fitting best into. So Right off the bat, we don't need to necessarily decide exactly what portfolio. I know some people have um, received information from, um, I think it's uh, total, um, oh, what's, what's the name of it? Total registration. Um, so total registration, you should have received information regarding to submitting the AP portfolio. Uh, you can choose either. We can switch it around and change as uh, the year goes on if we need to. So to give you a little explanation of what um, we're going to wind up doing is we'll be doing things in practice, experimentation, revision. So repeating uh, different materials, we'll be definitely testing materials and revision. So to kind of give you a few of examples, you know, the idea of practice is the actual making of it, the experimentation is kind of changing and the revision is what you've discovered as you've kind of gone along um, and ways of obviously improving uh, from one piece to the other. So throughout the portfolio, one piece kind of leads itself to another piece. So this is just a very quick explanation um, of what a drawing portfolio would really consist of. So we're talking about line quality, light and shading, rendering form, composition, uh, surface manipulation, illusion of depth, um, and mark making. So this is really just kind of the, the idea of looking at the type of work that you wind up doing and really um, focusing more on the manipulation of the surface um, and working with line, working with shade. However, we can do things like digital drawing or photography can be incorporated um, as part of a drawing portfolio, which used to not be the case in um, the previous portfolios. But now with the new addition to the experimentation and exploration of within the portfolio, uh, we can now do uh, a little bit more and adjust things like that. In 2D design, it kind of deals a little bit more with the unity and variety, rhythm, pattern, um, repetition, proportion, balance, emphasis and contrast, and figure ground. Now, what that all kind of leans itself towards is the principles of design, where the elements of design are, are focused more in the drawing portfolio. So 2D design is a repetition. 
So these are just a few examples of a variety of different approaches towards something that would be considered 2D design, not necessarily something that we would be creating right off the bat, but something that someone might eventually develop to doing, you know, a page design, a collage. So these are former student works um, from last year, just to give you an idea of the capabilities and, and um, what I, sh I strive for people to kind of achieve. So um, Megan's work here was a uh, development of portraits um, with facial expressions and also basing it on an artist that and an artist style that she had seen um, through Instagram and kind of based her work upon that. Uh, Alexa was a, um, a, a fashion major. She worked the majority of her time on a, por a portfolio to get into FIT and then had you know, this idea of creating collages using some of the inspiration that she had used for some of her garments and then eventually um, starting to create and render um, these same kind of styles into uh, everyday life using an iPad. So we deal with a lot of different mediums and different approaches. This is kind of an incorporation of nature and uh, portraiture. Here we have a few different illustrations, um, you know, and kind of whimsical children's book type of illustrations, really kind of nicely done. And there's kind of a color harmony that runs through each one of the pieces. Uh, Gianna's pieces were a distortion of the portrait um, where she was kind of taking things and manipulating. Um, one thing to kind of point out in here is the fact that uh, the portrait that's really, really distorted by all of the strips was actually a collage. All of the other pieces are painted. Um, even the one that looks like the crumpled up paper is actually a, a, a painting. Um, but she did physically crumple up the paper. We photographed the paper crumpled up and then she created a painting from that. Now, one thing that you just, I, I wanna explain is that for the crumpled up paper piece, we actually got two slides for her um, portfolio submission out of that image. One was the actual physical photographing of her crumpling it up um, and kind of laying it out and then the reproduction of it. Um, so there's a little bit of leeway within the 15 pieces to allow us to be able to produce um, other things. So here a 2D design portfolio um, you know, where it lends itself to really thinking about line. Now, since it is line, could it also fit into a drawing portfolio? Of course it could, but this just being very graphic in nature lends itself to being a 2D design portfolio where Gianna Buckley's pieces, um, you know, are very technically strong and lend itself a little bit more to, you know, the manipulation of a surface where that would be a, um, a, a drawing portfolio even though the majority of the stuff is painting. It's, it's drawing just for the idea that it is the, um, the, the elements um, of design and not so much the principles of design, although they come hand in hand. Mary Foxen's is a landscape painting dealing with color. So that was a 2D design portfolio uh, and Nathan's pieces. Um, so you can kind of tell through all of the portfolios uh, that I'm showing is that there's a variety of different approaches. Everyone's portfolio is completely and totally unique as well as um, having their own kind of student voice. Um, these are a couple of portfolios from previous years um, from students uh, just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, the capabilities as well as, you know, the variety of approaches towards one, either a, uh, a 2D design portfolio, which this is a 2D design portfolio and a drawing portfolio. So um, I think that's about it. Oh, a few other things uh, that I just did want to mention. Um, I did list a, a top, you know, a personal top 10 schools um, that I think are really good, strong university art programs for students that are interested in the university route, as well as students that are interested in the art school route. Um, I think that these are also you know, you can find these on a couple of different websites as far as, um, you know, the top 10 schools or ACAD schools. 
Um, ACAD is also another really great resource, especially if you're looking into getting a no obligation portfolio review. Um, ACAD is the Association of Independent College, uh, Colleges of Art and Design. Um, and this is a really kind of great resource just to kind of uh, to be able to get an opinion and see where your portfolio is at without actually having to submit your piece, uh, your pieces or your portfolio to uh, an actual art college. Um, I think that they use it as kind of a recruitment tool as well, which I think is, is fine, especially if you are producing a portfolio, it's a, a great resource. Um, so I will be available um, this evening uh, for any questions or concerns. I know I went rather quickly, but I figured I just wanted to put out a video, introduce myself again. I know I had all of your students last year, but I just wanted to um, you know, show my face and, and give you an opportunity to uh, see what, what we're gonna wind up doing this year, all right? Thank you very much. I hope to talk to everyone soon.